everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a nearly 70 minute level two, three hip opening and twisting class. We get into a lot of arm balances in this class and obviously lots of hips and twists, hip openers and twists. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like, subscribe and tell a mate. And if you have any class requests, or feedback or anything like that, let me know in the comments or on my Instagram, which is in the show notes below. We are going to get started today in a simple cross-legged position. Starting in a comfortable cross-legged position, take the palms to the knees. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, draw the shoulders up by the ears. Big open mouth, exhale, widen the collarbones. Seal the lips, start to breathe in and out through the nose, maybe inviting Ujjayi Pranayama. As you inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. As you exhale, ground down through the right sit bone, left hand comes to the floor, reach up and over to the left. Inhale, draw yourself up through center. And then as you exhale, ground down through the left sit bone, right hand comes to the floor, reach up and over to the right. Inhale through center, one more each side. Exhale, side bend to the right, to the left. Inhale through center, it's a good start. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center. As you exhale, right hand comes behind, left hand to the right knee, twist. Inhale, sit taller. Exhale, let the right hip moves forward, right rib cage moves back. Inhale, bring yourself through center. As you exhale, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, left rib cage back, left hip grounds down. Inhale, sit taller. Exhale, to twist. Inhale, sit up. Nice and straight, hands through the center. As you exhale, the hands come behind the head, the elbows stay wide. Try not to flare the ribs in order to get the elbows back. Take an inhale, sit tall. As you exhale, use the strength of your obliques to twist yourself to the right. Notice you might not go as far. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, draw the knees down towards the floor, twist to the left. Inhale through center, one more each side. Inhale through center. As you exhale, plant the hands, roll over the shins, make your way into a tabletop position. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, into your cat. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, into your cat. Three more. into a neutral spine, tuck under the toes, take an inhale. The spine stays neutral as you exhale, press the floor away, bring the knees to hover. Bring the hands a little bit closer to each other, take an inhale. As you exhale, take the right hand, tap the left knee. Inhale, back to your bear. Exhale, left hand, right knee. Inhale, to your bear. We're doing four more on each side. The hand that lifts Think of drawing that hip and knee down slightly towards the floor. It's going to want to try and rotate up and away. Try and keep your pelvis as even as you can. Two more on each side. Come back to your bear pose, take an inhale, exhale, set the knees down, untuck the toes, plant the left hand, inhale, sweep the right arm up, 
as you exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. One more, inhale. Exhale, thread the right hand under. This time come to rest on the back of the right arm. Extend the leg, the left leg behind you. Option to wrap the left arm behind the back. Option to bring that left leg to floating. Option to also open that left arm up to the sky. Play around, find what feels best and creates the most space in your body. From here, you're gonna unwind that left hand, plant the left hand, plant the left toes. As you inhale, we're pivoting all the way to side plank on the left. So pick up the right foot, stack it on top of the left. Stack the right hip on top of the left, inhale here. As you exhale, thread the needle, right arm comes under left. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, thread the needle. The movement comes from the rib cage, not the hips. Inhale to open, three more. Inhale into your side plank. Exhale, come forward, make your way into a high plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists, gentle tenting of the fingertips. Engage your lats, draw the shoulder blades down the back. Gentle scoop of the pelvis, but you're not tucking under. Your tailbone is along to the back of the mat. Energy out through the heels. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, without rounding the spine, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, back to plank. Four more on each side. You're keeping the spine as neutral as you can. Use the strength of your obliques and your hip flexors to get your elbow to your knee. How your knee to your elbow, well. Two more each side. back to your plank, set the knees down, inhale cow belly breath, exhale round up into your cat, come into a neutral spine, we're coming back into that bear pose, so tuck under the toes, take an inhale, as you exhale, hover the shins, we're going for those thigh taps again, right hand, left knee, inhale it down, left hand, right knee, Inhale it down. Take four more on each side, trying to keep your body as still and as stable as you can. One more each side. Bring it down. Untuck the toes, inhale, sweep the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread. Last one, inhale, open. Exhale, thread that arm underneath. Extend the right leg behind you, option to stay here. Otherwise, right hand wraps behind, reaching for the left leg. Right leg can come to hover. Option to open that right arm up to the sky, find what feels good. And bring the right, sorry, extend the right leg to the back of the mat, plant the right hand. As you inhale, you're going to open all the way into your side plank, so stack the left leg on top of the right. Open the left arm to the sky. Let's make a nice deep inhale. Stack the hips. As you exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right. Inhale. Open it up. Don't let the left hip rotate to the sky. Exhale. Thread the needle. 
three more like this. Inhale into your side plank. Exhale, come into your high plank. Take an inhale here. Keep the spine neutral as you exhale. Right knee, right elbow. Right knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. High plank. Left knee, left elbow. Left knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. High plank. Right knee, right elbow. Right knee, left. Right knee right, take it back. Left knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow, high plank. Three more times on each side, nice and slow like that. I'm not gonna keep talking you through it because it's a, a bit of a tongue twister. One more each side. Send the hips all the way up and back. Downward facing dog. From here, you're going to shift forward into plank on your inhale. As you exhale, the right hand will float back and tap the left ankle. Inhale, keep the hand floating as long as you can, then place it down in your high plank. And then as you exhale, press the floor away, tap left hand, right ankle. Slowly bring it forward. We're going to do four more on each side. The aim here is to keep the hand that is tapping the opposite ankle off the floor for as long as possible through the movement. So it's almost like you're doing a single arm plank to a single arm downward dog. Two more each side. We're going to come back and take the right hand to the right ankle. Maybe you shorten your dog a bit to be able to grab the left ankle with the right hand. Option one, look out underneath that left armpit, take your twist. Option two, look down at the mat, start to shift the weight into the left hand and the left foot and see if you can float that right leg up behind you. Option three, maybe you start to externally rotate the right leg, so turning the toes out to the right. It doesn't seem like it should be that much trickier, but it totally is. One more breath. From here, you're going to keep the right leg floating. If you haven't already, you're going to turn the toes out, plant the right hand, so you're in a three-legged dog with the toes turned out. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come forward, tap right knee, right elbow. Inhale, keep that leg rotated out and straight, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Three more, just like that, keeping that rotation through the leg, engaging through the glutes. Last one, we're gonna hold knee to elbow, knee to wrist, elbow, wrist, elbow, three more. Send it up and back. Open up that hip. This time, bend the knee. Draw the heel in towards the glute. Send the left heel to the floor. Draw the right shoulder down in line with the left. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale into your downward facing dog. Take the left hand. Reach up for the right ankle. Option one, take your twist. Left elbow to the left. Look out underneath the right armpit. Option two, gaze down at the floor. Ground down through right hand, right foot. Start to float that left leg up. 
option to turn those left toes out towards the left side of your mat, adding in a hip rotation. If your leg's floating, keep it there, keep it turned out. Everyone take the left hand down, float the left leg up, turn the toes out, inhale. Exhale, shift forward, left knee, left elbow. Keep the rotation, inhale, three-legged dog, the leg is straight. Exhale, shift forward. Three more like that. This time, hold it forward, left knee, left elbow, wrist, elbow, wrist, elbow. Three more, the movements in the hip. Take it up and back, keep the toes pointed out, inhale. And then as you exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip more, draw the left shoulder down in line with the right. Take a nice even half here. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Ripple forward through the spine, coming into your high plank. Our first chaturanga as you exhale, lower down to the height of the elbows. Shoulders no lower than the elbows. Knees can drop if you need to. Hold for one more breath. Press the floor away, high plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Three more. Send it all the way up and back. Downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Sink the hips down. Malasana yogi squat. Take the hands forward. Make sure that the knees aren't collapsing in towards the midline. Engage the glutes. Draw the, hip, the knees out in line with the second and third toes. Heels can be lifted if you need to, and your hips can be all the way up here if that's what you need to do to make this pose accessible in your body. Take two more breaths. On your next inhale, keep the knees tracking in line with the second and third toes. Sweep the arms all the way up to standing. And then as you exhale, come back down into a strong malasana. We're not just hanging out here. Inhale, come all the way to stand. Exhale, squat all the way down. Three more like that. Last one. Come back down into your Malasana pose. Option to stay here. Option, if you're feeling ready for it, to take a crow pose. I'm looking for a towel to wipe off the sweat, but I don't have one. Your knees will come to the backs of your arms. Legs will rest on your triceps. If you're already in your crow pose, you're still holding. I need to remember not to put moisturizer on before I do yoga because it never, ever ends well. Hold for two more breaths. Option to step, walk or float back to Chaturanga or just go straight to Downward Dog. Look towards the top of the mat. This time step, walk or float into your Malasana. Inhale here. As you exhale, straighten the legs, parallel the feet, come into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, forward fold. Surya Namaskar A, no back bend today unless you feel you really need it. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float to the top. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step forward or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. We're going to do two more rounds like that. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Last round. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Listen carefully, step, walk or float to Malasana. Take your left hand down, inhale, reach your right arm to the sky. If a bind is in your practice, you can turn the left thumb down, reach it around the right shin, and then reach the right hand around the back and grab a hold of that left hand. Make sure that if you're doing that, you're not just collapsing down through your spine, you're keeping them nice and long and open. If you have a bind, release it, come back through center, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, come to the other side. Right hand reaches down, left hand reaches up. Maybe that right thumb turns down and wraps around the shin, and the left hand comes back behind the back. Wherever you are, keep activating the glutes to open the knees. Come back through center as you inhale. Plant the hands, option for a crow pose. Maybe this time you're playing around with lifting your left leg off, drawing it into the chest, maybe to the back of the room for a single leg crow. I will confess this is not my strongest arm balance ever. If you came to that single the leg crow, maybe you can draw it back in and swap straight to the other side. Maybe you have to do a little reset, draw the right knee into the chest. Maybe you can extend that right knee all the way to the back of the mat. Wherever you're playing with, you're going to come back to center, parallel the feet, forward fold. Inhale, take a halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Then the knees sink the hips. Inhale, chair pose. If your feet are apart, your knees are apart. If your feet are together, you can squeeze your knees together. But wherever you are, make sure your knees aren't just collapsing into the midline. It's either an active squeeze or you're actively working to keep them in line with the second and third toe. We want to take care of the knees. Sink your seat a little lower if you can keep neutral through your spine so your lower back doesn't have to be flat. You have, you have a natural curve in your lower spine. You can get your hips lower by bending more at the hips without compromising that through the spine. So you can still keep a long spine, keep your knees 
behind your toes in line with your ankles and sink nice and low without just collapsing through the spine or hyperextending. It's all from the hips. I know we've been here a while, we've got three more breaths. Take one more breath. As you exhale, press to standing. From here, we're going to do a squat that we don't often do in yoga. You're going to bring your heels together. You're not going to go as deep. You're going to send your hips back still and start to bend in through the knees. This a lot will depend on your ankle mobility. Your knees might come a little bit further over towards your toes than what they normally would, but I don't want them pitching way, way forward. You're still sinking your hips back. You're still bending your knees, your ankles, and your hips to allow yourself to come down into this nice deep squat position without compromising the knees. Activate through the glutes, keep pulling the knees towards the pinky and toe sides. I know this is a lot of instructions, but I see a lot of knee injuries in my work, and I'm really, really picky with how people do their squats. Two more breaths. Press all the way to standing. From here, we're going to turn the toes in, so we're coming into an internal rotation. The heels will be wide. This is not going to be your deepest squat. You can take your feet a little bit deeper, a little bit wider than the hips distance. Take an inhale. You're going to sink the hips back, bend the knees. This time the knees will come together, and I want you to give an active press of those knees in towards each other as you keep sinking the hips back. You might notice that you're limited a little bit in your ankle mobility here, and that's fine. As long as it doesn't hurt, it's just something to work on. Take three more breaths here. You could also take a ball or a pillow or something between your knees if this range of movement isn't quite there for you yet. One more breath. And then as you exhale, parallel the feet, fold it all the way forward. Inhale, come into a half leg lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. And we're coming back into our chair pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up. This time as you exhale, keep the hips neutral, sweep the left arm back. Inhale, sweep it forward. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, sweep it forward. Four more on each side, peek down. Make sure as that arm travels back, the knee doesn't go with it. You're keeping your hips in a line. The twist is coming from the torso. One more each side. Inhale, tall. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, fall forward, option to add a crow pose. Hop back through your chaturanga. However you want to get there, we meet in downward dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step the right foot up. Keep the left hand planted as you inhale, sweep the right arm to the sky. As you exhale, thread the right hand underneath, tap the top of the left thigh. Inhale, open it up, twist. Exhale, thread it under. Three more like that. Last one. Take the right arm to the sky as you inhale. As you exhale, ground down through the feet. Pick yourself up, twisted crescent. Draw that right hip slightly forward. Draw back through the right rib cage. Engage strongly through the left thighs. And you might not twist anywhere near as what, much as what you want to. That's fine, we don't have that much rotation into our thoracic cage. I would rather that you twist like 45 degrees 
30 degrees, then really twist through your hips and upset your lower back. Take one more breath here. On your next inhale, cut with the arms open, you're coming into your warrior two. Heel to arch alignment, nice deep bend in through that front knee. Keep down, make sure you can see your right big toe. And then go nice and tall through the torso. Ribs stacked over hips, shoulders stacked over ribs. Reverse your front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, cut with the hands down. Listen carefully, plant the left hand, step the right foot back, side plank pose, take an inhale. As you exhale, lift the top leg, inhale, set it down. Knee keeps facing the side wall. Exhale, lift, inhale it down. Three more. the right leg floating as you shift back to your plank, take an inhale, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, plank, listen carefully as you exhale, shoot the right leg across to the left side of the mat, open up, full and triangle, as you inhale here, exhale, bend the left knee, send the hips back towards the left heel, exhale, send it forward, sorry, inhale, send it forward. Exhale, bend the left knee, sweep back. Inhale, come forward. I don't really mind what your breath pattern is as long as you're breathing. So if it doesn't match mine, don't worry. I would just like you to link your breath to your movement and breathe in a pattern that works for your body. We're gonna do one more here. Plant the left hand, take the right foot back Single leg plank, single leg chaturanga, single leg plank, exhale, downward dog. Step the left leg forward, inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, thread it underneath, tap the right thigh. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Take three more like that. Inhale, come into your easy twist. As you exhale, ground down through solid legs. Come up into your twisted crescent. Set up your alignment points. On your next inhale, cartwheel that right arm open to the back of the mat. Set up your warrior two. your front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, cut with the hands down, plant the right hand, step into your left, uh, sorry, into your right side plank, take an inhale. As you exhale, lift the left leg up, toes face the side wall. Inhale, set it down. Exhale to lift. Inhale, set it down. Three more. left hand, keep the left leg floating, swing it underneath the body, kick it off to the left side, the right side of the mat, as you inhale, come into your fallen triangle. Take an inhale here, 
Exhale, bend the left, the right knee. Oh my God, I'm so bad with left and right right now. Bend the right knee, send the hips to the back of the room. Inhale, fall and triangle. Exhale, bend the right knee, hips to heels. Inhale, fall and triangle. Three more. Exhale, take the right hand down, float the left leg back, single leg chaturanga. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step forward, forward, forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, come all the way to standing. Draw the right knee in towards the chest. Right foot to the inner left thigh or calf, coming into tree pose. Hands can come to the heart center, they can reach above you, they can come to your hips. Both hips are facing forward. You're drawing the right knee to the back of the room without taking the right hip along for the right. Strong engagement through the left glute, don't let the left hip drop out to the side. From here, you're going to take your right piece fingers, hook them around your right big toe. Take an inhale, extend the right leg out in front of you. Option to stay here or option as you exhale to open that right leg out to the side. Keep dropping the right hip crease down in line with the left. Stand nice and tall through the spine. I would prefer you have a really big bend in through that right knee as opposed to being really hunched over in through the shoulders just to try and get that leg straight. Bring the leg back to center. Option to keep the leg straight, otherwise you can bend the knee, take the left hand either to the outside edge of the right foot or the right knee, draw the right hip forward as you send the right rib cage and the right hand back coming into a twist. Slowly unwind yourself, plant the right foot, draw the left knee in towards the chest, take the sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh or calf, and set up your tree pose. hook them around the left big toe. Extend that left leg out in front of you. Option to stay here, drawing the left shoulder back into the socket, or option to open the left leg to the side. Harder would be gaze off to the right. Hip drops down and forward, left rib cage spirals backwards. Slowly unwind yourself, release the left foot. Inhale, come into your chair pose. One time, exhale, sweep right arm back. Inhale, center, exhale, sweep left. Inhale, center, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to add a crow pose. 
shoot it back, meaning downward dog. Step the right leg forward, inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, tap the left thigh. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, twisted crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sink low. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, plant the left hand. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, lift the top leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, single leg plank. Shoot the right leg through. Inhale, floating forward triangle if you can. Exhale, send the hips to the heels, keep the leg floating. Inhale, bring it forward, four more. Exhale, hips to heel. Inhale, bring it forward, three more. Inhale, floating fallen triangle. Exhale, single leg chaturanga. Inhale, single leg plank. And exhale, down dog. Step the left leg forward. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, tap the right thigh. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, twisted crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cut with the hands, plant the right hand. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, lift the top leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, plant the left hand. Shoot the left leg through. Floating fallen triangle. Exhale, hips to heels. Keep the leg floating. Inhale to the front of the room. Four more. Inhale, floating forward triangle. Exhale, single leg chaturanga. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, down dog. Look to the top, step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to do one more time like that. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Right leg steps. Inhale, sweep the right arm. Exhale, tap the left thigh. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, twisted crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, here. Reverse your warrior, inhale, plant the left palm, exhale, side plank, inhale, lift the top leg, exhale, side plank, inhale, shoot the right leg through, exhale, inhale, floating forward triangle, exhale, hips to heel, just one time, inhale, floating forward triangle, exhale, take it back through your vinyasa. Left leg steps, inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, tap the right thigh. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, twist the crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, flip the palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, plant the right hand. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, lift the top leg. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, shoot the right, the left leg over to the right. Inhale, floating forward triangle. Exhale, kick to heel. Inhale, floating forward triangle. Exhale, take it through your single leg. Vinyasa. Look to the top, step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, come all the way to standing. 
This time, you're going to cross your right ankle over the bottom of your left thigh. Sit yourself back into your funky chair. Or Ekapada Agni Sambhasana. It's a nice little word that you can throw around at parties when you want to impress people. You have the option to hang out here for another five breaths. Otherwise, we're going to take this to flying pigeon. So, hook the triceps to the front of the shin. Chaturanga arms come down to the front of the mat. The right toes hook around the back of the left tricep like a little monkey tail. And you shift the weight into the arms. Draw the left heel in towards the glute. Option to stay there. Otherwise, option to send that left leg back behind you. into your flying pigeon, you're slowly going to bring it all back in. We're going to meet back in our funky chair. Take the right peace fingers to the right big toe. From here, we're going to come all the way up into um, Uddita Pagangustasana B. Take an inhale here, and then as you exhale, come through center. Left hand to right foot or knee. Take the twist as you inhale, and then as you exhale, bring it back to center. Cross the left ankle over the bottom of the right leg, and come down, sit into your figure four. So we're all gonna hang out here for a few breaths, opening up that hip. I've been doing a lot of skin boarding lately, and uh, my hips are tight, so this feels great. You can hang out here. If this is feeling good, hang out. Otherwise, try to run the arms. Hook them over the shin. Little monkey tail with that left foot on the right arm. Shift the weight into the arms. Pick the right heel up into the glute. Find your balance. Option to stay. Or grip in tight with that, those left toes. And send the right leg back behind you. came up into your flying pigeon, bring it back in. Everybody meet in figure four, right hand to right hip, left piece fingers to left pinky toe, uh, left big toe rather. Come all the way up into Uttita Padangustasana B. Take an inhale here. Exhale, come back through center. Right hand to left knee or foot. Take an inhale to twist. And then as you exhale, come back through center. Inhale, come into your chair pose. As you exhale, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Come into your twisted chair. Make sure that your knees are even, your hips are back. Crown of the head is extending forward. Option to hang out here, otherwise, side crow. You're going to bend down. You're going to bend down. You're going to bend down through your knees. Swing your knees over towards the left. You're going to get a back view here. I apologize in advance. Hands plant to the front of the mat. Start to shift the weight into the back of the right tricep and float the legs up. If you're feeling jazzy, you can start to swing the legs towards the top of the mat and then take that left forearm down coming into a funky side crow. It's just an option. If you came into that funky side crow, you now have to try and get out of it again. So ideally, you're swinging the legs back behind you as you lift the left arm up, 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 back into your side crow, and then set the feet down, come back through center, take a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, left elbow hooks to the outside of the right knee. Even off through your hips and knees. And then see if you can twist a bit deeper.
From here, you're going to bend through the knees, lift the heels, come down into your little squat. Arguably a better view from this direction. Swing the knees off towards the left. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. The right hand plants by the hip. Start to shift the weight into the back of the left arm and pick the toes up. Option to stay here in your side crow. Otherwise, you're going to start to pivot the knees forward as you start to lower that right forearm coming down into your funky side crow. If you came into that funky side crow, you're trying to press the floor away, come back up onto that right hand, and set the feet down, everybody forward fold to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step walk or float. Chaturanga, you can add a crow pose if you really want to. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, tap the thigh. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, twist the crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Option to bring the right forearm to the thigh, the hand to the inside of the leg or to the outside of the leg or to a block. Wherever you are, make sure that that right knee is stacked above the ankle and it's not collapsing into the midline. Keep lengthening through both sides of the waist. From here, look forward, take the right hand up, Adha Chandrasana, Half Moon Pose. From here, you're going to start to pivot the torso towards the floor. The left hand is going to come down, even off through the sacrum, left Toes face the floor and then start to spiral the rib cage open. Parivrita Adha Chandrasana, twisted half moon. You're welcome to have a block underneath that left hand to give yourself more space. From here, we're going to plant the hands. Option to hang out in a standing split. Otherwise, if you've got a handstand practice and wanted to catch some air time, now would be that time. If you wanted to try a split leg variation, maybe you could play around with straddling the legs and bringing them back together. And when you're ready, you're going to hop towards the back of your mat. You're going to take the right leg up as you inhale. As you exhale, instead of coming into a fallen triangle, you're going to tap right knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it back. Option to repeat. Otherwise, exhale. Right knee comes to the back of the left tricep. Maybe you have to cheat like me and put the foot down. And you come into Parivrita Kundinyasana, splitting the legs. So it's like a side crow, but the top leg is back and the bottom leg is forward. Step the left toes down, take it through a single leg vinyasa. Step the left leg forward, inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, tap right thigh. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, twisted crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, come down into your side angle. Look down and forward, take the left hand forward, hop yourself up, Adha Chandrasana, half moon pose.
and then start to square the hips to the floor. The right hand comes down, right hip squares off, start to take the left hand up any amount. It can always stay on the sacrum if that feels more stable and comfortable. From here, plant the hands, option to hang out in a standing split, otherwise inversion time. You could take a headstand, you could take an arm balance, handstand, whatever you're working on. You can also, as always, hang out in a child's pose. Feel free to keep playing. Otherwise, you're going to make your way back into a down dog with the back of the mat. Take the left leg up as you inhale. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Option to repeat. Option to come into a floating fallen triangle. Otherwise, left leg comes to the back of the right arm. And you come into your Parivrita Kundinyasana. Take it back, take a true vinyasa. We meet in a downward facing dog. We're going to take that one time to the breath without the arm balances because that's just too tricky. Look towards the top of the mat, step walk or foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, descend. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. Exhale, tap right elbow towards left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, left elbow to the right. Inhale, center. One more each side. Inhale through center. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right leg forward. Inhale, sweep the right arm. Exhale, tap left thigh. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, twisted triangle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, twisted half moon. Inhale, standing splits. Option to take your handstand or a couple of hops. Listen carefully. If you came upside down, you're going to plant that right foot. We're coming back into a warrior two as you inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, flip your warrior. Exhale, plant the left hand. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, lift the top leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, sweep it across. You could take the Kundinyasana here if you really wanted to. Otherwise, inhale, floating fallen triangle. Exhale, hip to heel. Inhale, floating fallen triangle. Exhale, take it through your Vinyasa. Step the left leg up. Inhale, sweep the left arm. Exhale, tap the right thigh. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, twisted crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, Adha Chandrasana. Exhale, twisted half moon. Inhale, come into your standing splits. Take a couple of breaths to play. If you came upside down, 
you're going to float the left leg back down, come back up into your warrior two as you inhale, exhale, flip your warrior, inhale, exhale, plant the right hand, inhale into your side plank, exhale, lift the top leg, inhale, set it down, exhale, shoot the left leg across, option to take your Kundinyasana, Otherwise, inhale, floating forward triangle. Exhale, hip to heel. Inhale, floating forward triangle. Exhale, take it down through your vinyasa. Look towards the top of the mat. You're going to step forward or float true to a seat. We're going to take a seated twist before we come down and do some ab work. Adamasi Andrasana. Take the left leg, fold it back so that the left heel is by the right hip. Cross the right leg over. Right hand comes behind. Inhale, sweep the left leg, arm up. And then as you exhale, either hook the left elbow around the right knee, or you can just make a, like a little coat hanger and hug the knee. You have the option to stay here. If you're feeling like you want one more little arm balance. You're going to plant the hands like chaturanga arms. It's like a cross-legged side crow. Start to use the bottom leg as a kickstand to get your butt up in the air and then shift the weight to the back of the left arm. If you came up into that arm balance, you're going to set yourself back down into Adhamatsu Mandrasana. Um, cross yourself, take an inhale. And then exhale, release. Fold the right leg underneath. Stamp the left leg across. Left hand comes behind. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. And then as you exhale, hook or hug the left knee with the right arm. Option to hang out here. Otherwise, you're going to plant those chaturanga arms, get a good um, purchase of that left knee on the right arm. Bottom leg acts as a kickstand to get your butt off the ground. And then you come up into your arm balance. If you came up, slowly set yourself down. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale, unwind yourself to the other side. And then exhale, come back through center. From here, you're going to scoot yourself to the top of your mat. Bend the knees, hands come out in front of you. Inhale, tall spine. As you exhale, you're going to peel each vertebrae down the mat as slowly as you can. We're still going down. Still going, still going, still going. And release yourself all the way down. From here, you're going to have your spine in a neutral position. So there's a little family of ladybugs living underneath your lower back. Your tailbone is pointing towards your feet. It's not scooped up to the sky. Hands come behind the head. Take an inhale. Keep this neutral spine as you exhale. Draw up through the pelvic floor. Slide the ribs towards the hips. And use that momentum to carry your head and chest up. So you're not yanking on your head. Your chin's not poking to the sky. The back of the neck is long. The work is coming from this space in between your ribs and your pelvis. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, think of the bottom of the left rib cage sliding towards the front of the right hip and come into a twist. Inhale back to your center. Exhale, right rib cage slides towards left rib uh, hip. Inhale through center. Two more each side like this. Make sure that you're not pressing the lower back into the floor yet. It's still in neutral. You have the option to stay here. Otherwise, as you exhale, right leg floats to tabletop, left leg floats to tabletop. Now the lower back is in the floor. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, right knee stays still, left leg extends left rib cage to right hip. Inhale through center, left knee over hip, 
right leg extends right rib to left hip. A right rib, yeah, to left hip. I got that right. Yeah, <laughs> come true center. Keep going side to side. So this is really slow. It's really deliberate. If you're doing it properly, you should really feel it working. You don't have to do a million and one crunches really fast with really shitty technique. If you do a few where you really connect into your pelvic floor and your deep abdominal muscles, you will feel it fatigue quite quickly. We're going to do one more to each side. Bring it in through center. And as you exhale, hug the knees in towards the chest, lower it down. We've just got one more. You're going to bring your legs into a butterfly position. This has got two parts to it. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, press into the outside edges of the feet, lift the hips into a butterfly bridge. Inhale, set it down. As you exhale, you're going to come up into a crunch. Your hands can reach forward or you can support the back of your head. Inhale, lower the torso. Exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bridge. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. We're just going to do five more like that. Towards the chest, give yourself a squeeze. Cross the left ankle over the bottom of the right knee, come into a reclined pigeon. And then you're going to keep the cross, take the arms out to a capital T, let the knees fall over towards the left, using that left foot as an anchor to stretch out the right ITB. Keep the right shoulder grounded. Come back through centre, keep the cross, you're just going to take the legs to the other side now. So the sole of the left foot will come to the floor. Maybe you use the right knee to nudge it up a little bit. And then you're actively pushing the left knee away from the right shoulder. So you should feel it opening through the outer left hip. And then you're going to switch it over. So come back through center, cross the right ankle over the left knee, come into your reclined pigeon. And then you're going to keep this position, just let the legs fall over towards the right, ground down through the left shoulder. Let that right foot be an anchor on the left knee. And bring yourself back through center. Keep the cross, bring the legs over to the left. Let the sole of the right foot clamp and then actively press that right knee away from the right shoulder. And bring yourself back in through center. Give yourself a squeeze, grab the outside edges of the feet, the ankles or the legs, come into a happy baby, lower back is wide on the floor. Maybe you're straightening through one leg at a time, giving a little love to the hammies. And when you're ready, curling yourself up into a ball, nose to knees. Squeeze yourself as tight as you can. Take a nice deep inhale. And then when you're ready, exhale, release into your final resting position. 
Take a moment just to let the body sink into the floor, or if you're sitting, just feel yourself really supported on your sit bones. Turn the palms up towards the sky. And just letting go of anything that did or did not happen in your practice today. Staying here for as long as serves you today. Thank you so much for practicing with me as always. Today, as you go forward, may you be calm in your thoughts, kind in your words, and have generosity in your heart. Namaste. Mm -hmm.